Hey everyone, Mark here from CNC Sourced. Today, I want to explain all of the key differences between CNC routers and CNC mills. While these two types of CNC machines are similar in some ways, they are very different tools designed for different purposes. Understanding when to use a CNC router versus a CNC mill will help you get the best results with your projects. To start, let's go over the similarities between CNC routers and mills. The most important similarity is that they both use Computer Numerical Control, or CNC, to direct their movement. This means they follow commands from CAD and CAM software to perform subtractive manufacturing, cutting away material from a block rather than adding it like a 3D printer. CNC routers and mills also have some common axis movements. The Y axis on both machines is the longest, moving from front to back. The x-axis moves side to side. Now on to the differences, which help explain when you'd want to use one over the other. First up is the structure and axis movement. CNC routers typically have a gantry design where the workpiece lays motionless on the bed, while the spindle moves on the x, y, and z axis above it. The spindle moves up and down, and the gantry moves side to side and front to back. On a CNC mill, both the workpiece and the spindle move. The workpiece moves along the X and Y axis on the bed, while the spindle moves up and down on the Z axis above it. This difference in movement allows mills to work on taller and heavier blocks of material. Speaking of materials, that's another big difference between routers and mills. CNC routers excel at cutting softer materials like wood, plastic, and non-ferrous metals. The fast-spinning router bits slice through these materials with ease. Mills are built for hardness and can cut steel, iron, titanium, and other tough metals. Their slower but more powerful spindles and rigidity remove material while managing heat and vibration. When it comes to work area, CNC routers are made for larger pieces. With their gantry setup, they can process full sheets of plywood, acrylic, aluminum, and other materials with dimensions of 4 feet by 8 feet or larger. The smaller size but greater precision of mills makes them suited for smaller, more intricate metal parts. The Z-axis movement affects the work area as well. CNC routers often have more limited Z-clearance because the spindle hangs from that moving gantry. Mills frequently have 10 inches or more of Z-travel since their vertical axis is stable and independent. There's also a difference in the cutting tools used. CNC routers utilize a wide variety of bits optimized for wood, plastic, and soft metals. Mills predominantly use spiral end mills designed for chip evacuation and hardness when machining metals. All of these factors add up to mills being the more robust heavy-duty solution. Their stationary vertical axis, moving table, and metal construction gives them superior rigidity and accuracy for precision parts. The trade-off is size, speed, and versatility. Rotors can cover more ground faster thanks to their layout and high RPM router bits. To summarize, CNC routers have a moving gantry over a stationary workpiece, while CNC mill beds move with a fixed spindle. This affects their capabilities regarding material sizes and heights. Routers are made for softer materials like wood, plastic, and non-ferrous metals. Mills handle hardened metals and can take heavy cuts. Routers boast larger working areas to handle sheets of material. Mills have a smaller footprint but excel at intricate metal components. The router bits in routers provide versatility across many materials. Mills use end mills tailored for metals. The rigid frame of a milling machine allows superb accuracy and repeatability at the cost of speed. Routers move quickly thanks to their gantry. I hope this breakdown gives you a better grasp on when to use each type of CNC machine. It's important to match the right tool to your particular application and materials. Want to learn even more? Head over to our blog for a complete deep dive into every difference between routers and mills. Understanding these key distinctions will help you get the best results on your next CNC project. Thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments if you have any other questions.